As super bacteria get more super and antibiotics get less anti, how are we going to keep people from contracting infections? The same way we make the outside of pennies brown, duh. Hey there, humans. <laughs> Tracy here reporting for D News. Have you ever heard of hospital acquired infections or HAIs? They happen in hospitals, obviously, and they're kind of a horrible thing. I don't want to scare you from going to the doctor, but HAIs happen. And according to the CDC, in 2002, the estimated number of HAIs in US hospitals was approximately 1.7 million. 1.7 million people walked into a hospital for care and walked out with an infection that they got while there. You might think that drugs are the way to keep fighting these monsters, but that's not exactly right. Superbugs are antibacterial resistant microbes and more of them are appearing every year. I can't even describe to you how terrible it would be if something incredibly bad became a superbug. No cure, even the strongest antibiotics or soap would not stop it. We would be truly screwed. Now that you share our dread, know this. Because of these fears, scientists are working on how dangerous bacteria can be killed without using antibacterial soaps, hand sanitizers, drugs, or other things that might work for now, but will ultimately make those little buggers stronger. Ultraviolet light kills bacteria, but it also causes some DNA mutation in human cells. So we can't just bathe whole hospitals in UV light, although that would work for some things like sanitizing tools. The wings of the mighty cicada kill bacteria simply by their structure. What they've got is what scientists call nanopillars. They're kind of like the spikes from Mario, because if you touch them, you die, because they puncture you. Science's newest weapon against these microscopic monsters, copper. Copper is naturally antimicrobial. Coating hospitals in copper would cut HAIs by more than half, with the copper surfaces killing 83% of bacteria, including even the nasty ones like flesh-eating bacteria and superbugs. Bacteria on a dry copper surface is naturally weakened because copper draws the bacteria's internal electrical signals out. And then as they move around, their insides become negatively charged and begin to react with the surrounding atmosphere. And eventually, the cell membrane goes <laughs> and bam, no more bacteria. Imagine the possibilities. Hospitals with copper door handles, copper countertops and sinks, copper bed rails and surfaces. The future could look a lot like an awesome 1860s style steampunk anime. Just don't replace my ambulances with velocycles. I don't care how fast they go. Would you coat your own house in copper just to kill bacteria? Good idea, bad idea. Tell us your thoughts on this distinctive home design in the comments or find us on social media and tell us there. Thanks for watching, I'm Trace. See you next time.